everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I decided I'm going to treat you to that zip tie in depth tutorial. Now this video is not gonna be very long because honestly it's not a whole lot of work and it's not a whole lot to like understand, but we're gonna do it anyway because y'all been asking for it, so here we go. But before we do, I'm gonna do a super influencer thing and open my mail on camera, yes. <laughs> this is something I had sent to myself because I'm reliving childhood trauma at the moment. Yes, I have taken it upon myself to spend copious amounts of money on things that make me happy because I never got to have them as a child. That's what we do as adults. Now these actually weren't very expensive. They're like $3 on eBay, but I'm treating myself to them anyway. They are these old school, like 1996 vintage Barbie keychains. If you were paying attention to my Instagram stories, these hold a lot of weight for me, okay? But in case you didn't see it, I'll give you the backstory now just so it lives on forever on a YouTube video. This one right here, the striped bathing suit ponytail Barbie doll keychain. Backstory, picture it. I'm six years old in the first grade. I'm sitting in the Catholic school in the like office where the lost and found was. I'm digging through it and I see this. The zebra swimsuit Barbie keychain. I had to have it. It wasn't mine, but it was in the lost and found. So I took it home with me. I played with it all night. I adored it. I brought it to school the next day like a fool and showed it off to all the kids in my class saying, look at this cool toy I found. Lo and behold, some evil named Kelsey claimed it as hers and said that her grandma had bought her and she lost it the day before. And her six-year-old face crack. Well, nonetheless, it's mine now. I finally have gotten it back in my life, so this hole in my heart is finally filled. I also got a couple other ones too because it came in a package set. But yeah, that's it, you know, barbecue chains. Buy what makes you happy, okay? And fill whatever holes are inside your heart. That's the lesson for today's video. No, it's not. It's actually <laughs> how to zip tie hair. So, okay, wig stand is in frame. Now, I just made this hair in the last video. It's the rose quartz wig, but it took a lot of zip ties to make, so it's a good wig to take apart and show you how to do it. Now, I'm gonna undo the zip tying on this so I can show you in depth on how to zip tie a wig, okay? Be right back. <laughs> All right, now, the logistics of this is pretty, pretty simple, okay? Here we go. Here's what we do. I have it right here. I divide off a whole section of hair right here where the bang starts and the hair begins. It doesn't have to be a bang wig. Just bangs help conceal a double stack really easily. So, we're gonna do that. If it was a regular wig, you just section off the hair that's gonna go in the front of it. I take my hair piece like so, and that line we created here, we're going to line that up with that. Just like that. And then you take your zip tie. And this is the part that can get a little difficult because you have to get the zip tie underneath the lace fully, like push it through. And sometimes they'll fight you and push it through to the other side and then catch it just like that. Like by miracle, it actually worked on camera for me. The easy part is getting it to go through here. Most of the time, <laughs> there we go. Okay, I found a section, take it. Pull it tight, but not too, too tight because otherwise it could start to like pull onto the cap of the wig and you'll have a situation where you put it on and it starts to shrink up and you know, force itself upward. So you have to find that nice little balance to where it's actually tacked on, but it's not just like, you know, pulling the wig tighter. Okay, you clip your tail and do your best not to clip any hair. Now, the main areas you wanna focus on are the front and the back. You could do more on the sides if you're really that concerned about it, but you don't really have to. It just depends on the hairstyle. Like, if it were a very, very structured hairstyle you're gonna be doing, like say a beehive, you'd wanna do the whole bit just to make sure it's secured and it's not gonna move around too much. And also, bear in mind, you can also stuff the inside of this with something else you wanna make it bigger. It could be like a hair donut. I've seen girls use garbage bags. If you wanna get even more height, you can just keep doing that and keep stacking them on top of each other. Just bear in mind, it's gonna add to the weight of the wig. And if you want that neck pain, by all means, get it. <laughs> I don't want it. All right, zip tie again. I'm gonna push her to the side. And I have my section here. And like I said, it's always difficult getting it to go through and come back out. It's sort of like sewing with a zip tie. A 
pull it through. All right, now it's locked. Now, for the front, I generally do three. I do the sides first, and then I do the middle. And for the most part, that's pretty much all you really need to do for a double stack if you're not gonna move around a whole lot. Like this for a walk around gig, three in the front should be fine. But if you're gonna be performing and really dancing the house down, do as many as you feel like you need. But like I said, when it comes to going around the wig, just make sure it's secure but not pulling. Front. This one I always do last. I always do the sides and then I do the front. And it's the same thing, sticking it through. Okay, there we go. Feel it on my finger. Get it through the other side. All right, now it's on there, but it's not pulling. All right, and that's our first front join. Let's move on to the back. Be right back, <laughs> and I'm back. <laughs> Flip the hair in the back forwards. That's what we're doing. And we are going to do the same thing, actually, only it's in the back of the wig, where we divide up sections of the hair. Although sometimes things can be built different because depends on the style of wig cap you have. Like if the wig cap is closed cap, you're actually in luck because those are way easier. But if it is like an open cap, you have to worry about the tracks. Now what I've seen happen, and has happened to me before, is when I do the open tracks, it'll pull on them or even the like circulation from the zip tie will rip the track. Like you'll fully just rip the track in half and you'll have an open space for like hair that's just like torn. Who's calling me? Who dares call me? I don't know this number. Let me answer it quick. Hello? Hello? God damn it, Cindy. Ugh. Okay, where was I? All right. Now, this is a closed cap, so it'll be a little easier. But just bear in mind for that, not too tight on the open cap or it'll tear this, it'll tear your tracks. All right. Now for the back, you can do the same thing. I always do the front first and the back. I don't know why. Oh, I do know why, because I feel like it helps you figure out where it's going. <laughs> helps keep the wig straight. I need to rephrase myself sometimes. Sometimes I'm just like, I don't know why I do it. I'm like fully knowing why I do it. <laughs> it's like, come on, James. This one's being a little bastard. Okay, full forward, okay. okay. This is always the most difficult freaking part. It's just trying to get it to pierce through. Like, I suppose I could go through and just cut the cap and, like, have holes readily made. But where's the fun in that? There we are. Now, in a perfect world, this would pretty much be it. That's all you really got to do. Now, if you want to go over the top, you can do the sides as well and tack it down. And it'll really be on there. Or even stuff something in there to make it bigger. But, yeah, that is how you do it. Now, in case you are wondering how to do it for another stack, I'll show you. Do the same thing, only you divide a smaller section of hair because it's already there. So this is the second wig I just pinned on there. And you can see the tracks from that wig. Just divide it up like that. Like that, this is our double stack wig right here. I'm gonna take the other wiglet and place it just the same way, line it up, and I'm gonna tack it here with the zip ties. And do the same thing in the back, but I'll show you that too. Just so you have a walkthrough on triple stacks as well. And this one should be easier because it's just the cap of the other wig. There's no lace or anything to puncture through and you don't have to really search around too much. These ones you can pull a little tighter because it's not connected to the cap. It's only on the cap section you wanna be a little more cautious of because it'll make the wig too small. You don't wanna adjust the size of your cap to a point where you can't fix it and you'll have to cut them out and redo it. All right, and the same thing goes for the back section. Pull it down for you, throw it up, and just find the middle section here and divide the hair up. And they're gonna meet up right there and we're gonna tack that with a zip tie. And you wanna clip your tails on these. I don't know how many times this has happened to me where like I'll perform in it and somehow the tails will shift on them if they're left in there and it'll stop poking you in your head. And you're like, what the hell is that? Now I'm not gonna restyle this because that's literally the video I just did. You can check that video out. You know, it's gonna be at the end of this one or I'll link it down below for you folks. But yeah, it's the Rose Quartz video. I'm not redoing it. This is how you would zip tie a wig for a double or triple stack. I hope this is informative. I hope it, like, it clicks now, hopefully, because I don't know how I can explain it anymore for you folks, okay? <laughs> now, this has been a little bite-sized update for you folks. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you love this wig, be sure and check out wigs from Jay's Mansfield Beauty. This is the Midnight Tigress. She is a mullet hard front, ready to go glamour. Yes, 
Glamour on the go from me, James Mansfield. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. <laughs> Click here and watch my rose quartz wig recreation or my story time plus Jam Brady wig recreation. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, you'll have diarrhea for a week. So click it.